Marsha Cross has an acting resume that spans more than three and a half decades and boasts numerous prestigious awards, but it was her role as the uptight suburban homemaker Brie Vandekamp on the ABC comedy drama series Desperate Housewives that made her a household name. With her impeccable acting chops, striking beauty, distinctive fiery red hair, and gorgeous porcelain skin, the actor was destined for TV stardom. So, what has the iconic housewife been up to since she left Wisteria Lane? Let's find out! In November 2017, the actress was diagnosed with anal cancer after undergoing a routine checkup. She opened up about her cancer ordeal a year later in September, after being in remission for eight months. The cancer survivor expressed the desire to put a dent in the stigma associated with anal cancer after discovering that anal cancer patients felt embarrassed about their diagnosis. By spreading awareness about HPV and its link to cancer, the 59-year-old has become a powerful advocate for greater awareness of anal cancer and the risk of HPV. Speaking at the Atlantic's People vs. Cancer event in 2019, she revealed, I found myself in a position where nobody wants this job, nobody wants to come forward, and I knew that people were suffering and people were ashamed. The TV personality hasn't shied away from showing the ugly side of her cancer diagnosis, sharing the side effects like hair loss mouth sores, and gastric problems after undergoing 28 rounds of chemo. Being diagnosed with cancer has had a profound effect on the star's life as she opened up to SurvivorNet, confessing that being a survivor taught her to cherish the important moments in life, no matter how small. It also made her more conscious about taking better care of herself and being more mindful of her diet. Marsha's diagnosis came less than a decade after her husband of 15 years, Tom Mahoney, was diagnosed with throat cancer and the star confirming that both of their cancers were linked to HPV, a sexually transmitted infection, whose certain strains can lead to several different cancers. In late September, the actor revealed that she suffered a major loss after her beloved father, Mark J. Cross, passed away at the age of 98. Paying tribute to her father, she called him an incomparable human and her first and longest love. In addition to ABC's much-loved series, for which the talented actor earned an Emmy nod for Outstanding Lead Actress in a comedy series, she has worked in numerous notable shows like Melrose Place, Everwood, and Quantico. The three-time Golden Globe nominee has been taking on more projects lately, appearing in three episodes of the latest season of Netflix's You, playing the role of Jean Peck, a corporate lawyer. She also appeared in the second season of the TV miniseries Youth and Consequences in 2021. She will also be seen in two more projects, Behind the Curtain of Night and Everything Can Happen. No wonder making a busy schedule for the acclaimed actor. Desperate Housewives first graced our TV screens way back in 2004, but still has a loyal fan base who wanted to get a reboot, a trend that's quite on the rise lately. But the Massachusetts native who starred in all eight seasons rebuffed the idea when rumors of a possible reboot resurfaced online. Not because she had a bad experience making the show, as she still keeps in touch with her fellow castmates. Instead, her lack of excitement about a possible reboot stems from the fact that since the show had over 150 episodes, it would prove implausible to recreate the show in the same capacity. Marsha has some ideas about what she'd like to do in the future, and it extends beyond acting. She is starting a production of her own as well, one that would find her behind the camera writing and producing. As I've gotten older, you know, your scope gets broader, she said. I have a sort of passion project I'm working on. The ABC star uses her high-profile status and social media like Instagram and Twitter to support numerous charities and nonprofit organizations, be it raising awareness about the HPV virus or supporting significant movements like Black Lives Matter. Even though few and far between, the mom of two also uploads moments of her personal life, be it her posts gushing about her husband or celebrating small milestones like her 14-year-old twin daughters Eden and Savannah going to high school. In her most recent post, she thanked all her 238,000 followers for supporting her during her father's demise. Sharing her gratitude, she confessed not seeing Instagram as a vehicle for love initially, but it became exactly that after her fans and followers rallied behind her during one of her toughest times. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.